Do you want to see the original digital? Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> I'm surprised. So, uh, I'm surprised by the amount. It's crap. And I want to be understood. I'm a communicator, not a broadcaster. Greetings. I'm Jim, W6LG, as you can tell by the call sign growing out of the back of my head. Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. This may be the original digital. It's possible. Um, this is a uh, telegraph sounder that would have been used on a railroad. As a matter of fact, uh, the cable that's connected to it has uh, Erie Railroad on it. Um, so this is called a sounder, as far as I know. There's also a sounder on this uh, wood wood base and a straight key. Um, the straight key is um, is connected to the sounder through a 9 volt battery so that I could uh, I could send with it and we'll do that in just a second. Um, so a guy would be sitting in a telegraph office uh, next to a railroad all day long waiting for someone to call him and pass a message. Uh, a lot of the messages were coded um, or shortened to uh, numeric messages like 73 or 88 and um, the guy had to be ready to copy so um, part of his attention during the day had to be on the telegraph so even though he might be talking to a customer he's still uh, listening to what's transpiring on the wires um, to give you an idea of what it sounds like uh, I'm going to move my cell phone over here and here's, here's what it sounds like Um, sending with a straight key is uh, is a skill, and uh, guys in World War II are really good at it. Uh, the way you're supposed to hold the button on the straight key is thumb goes on one side, this finger on the other, so this, these are opposing each other, and then this finger goes over the front of the button. Um, the operator doesn't tap the key. That would be really poor sending but uh, develops a rhythm. Um, many guys with straight keys had their own um, uh, way of sending and it was distinctive. So, um, and I'm not that good at it. So the idea is the wrist is to stay uh, limber, um, loose, uh, elbows on the table, uh, feet squarely on the, on the floor, sitting upright uh, at attention and a guy could sit there and operate for hours that way um, it, it takes a lot of practice to do this but uh, anyway the other thing that uh, often comes up is that uh, the slang lid came from operators who used the lid of a tin can a Prince Albert can as the story uh, to amplify the sound of the sounder um, I've tried that with a couple of lids, and um, I can't tell any difference, so whatever. Um, the sound is actually pretty loud. It um, uh, can be heard across the room, and there's a bit of an arc that occurs on the straight key, even with just 9 volts, and I'll, uh, I'll video that uh, in a minute. So um, a good operator could stay relaxed, send for hours. You can imagine the guys during World War II who were sitting maybe in a ship in the radio room and they're copying all day long. I mean, those guys were good. I knew some of them uh, in the early 1960s and um, they were um, superb CW operators. It, one guy I could sit with uh, in his house and he, he could be on the air working a guy, a buddy of his, and talking to me at the same time, carrying on two conversations, one on CW, one with me. And by the way, he had a martini in his other hand. So he had a martini in his left hand, key in the right hand, uh, had a few drinks, and was great to talk to. Anyway, that may be the original digital. So that's um, 
I thought I'd share that with you. I've had this for a while. Uh, I took it to Dayton for a couple of years to uh, and had it set up on the table. It's kind of cool. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for joining me with my original digital. Bye-bye. Maybe somebody will answer. <laughs>